We're gonna go into a secret strength hack that no one wants you to use, and we're gonna start right now. So when we're thinking about stress, okay, when we're thinking about strength, when we're thinking about adaptations, these are all things that sort of just jive together, right? We're looking at grip strength, arm strength, and a lot of these things can be measured very, very easily. Now the training that you might have to go through to attain those specific type of adaptations could cause a lot of distress. It could cause a lot of pain or discomfort. Think about bench pressing. You're under the bar and you're hitting you know, sets of 10, sets of 12, maybe slow eccentric. You can just feel the blood rushing into your pecs, into your triceps, and you can't deal with that discomfort. Or if we're doing hangs off of a barbell, let's say we're doing 20 toes to bar, then 20 knee raises, and then we're just gonna continuously hang to try and improve that grip strength. This can be incredibly uncomfortable and incredibly challenging, but there's certain things that we can do to sort of pull that discomfort away. And so in March of 2023, researchers tested three different aspects. They tested grip and arm strength along with a test known as BART. And BART is Balloon Analog Risk Task. Okay, so this is a test that you can use that's a computerized model that will show what type of risk level you're willing to take in certain scenarios. It's actually used in certain scenarios based off of uh, how likely someone will be to drink alcohol or to consume illicit drugs or anything along those lines. It's a very unique test. And so these researchers looked at grip strength, arm strength, and then overall, how did they perform or what were their choices when they were performing BART? Here's where the kicker comes into play. There was two specific tests and the samples were done on 56 people and 118 specific people. In the second test, they focused on things like anxiety, self-confidence, just what type of individual you were, what type of character traits do you have, how strong-willed can you be as an individual. And during these tests, they also wanted to see what type of physical capability you could handle. So what type of physical strength do you have in your arms? What type of physical strength do you have in your grip? And then how do you handle things like humor when you're under a massive amount of stress? And then the main focus was what happens when you deal with these situations through swearing. So let's pretend that we're inside of a bench set or we're doing a huge drop set of curls and we're going through a massive, massive amount of discomfort. And we have this huge pump in our biceps or again, like the bench press scenario, we're pressing with a massive amount of weight and at the same time, we're doing slow eccentric so we can just feel the blood rushing. Everything's getting super, super tight. And to deal with that discomfort, we would start to elicit some type of swearing mechanism. So we would start to swear. We're gonna say things like fuck or bitch or shit or what the hell is going on. You start to go through these swear words. And then on top of that, the researchers started to induce these individuals with humor. So while they're swearing, they would have something amusing occur to them to see what would happen. At the same time, while they were swearing, they would also increase the heat of the room. They would go through all these various different tests to see what would happen to these different individuals. They also wanted to see, based off the balloon analog risk test, if an individual is more likely to take higher or lower risks, does that help them deal with that discomfort more or less? And so the results are pretty interesting here. One of the things that ended up happening is that Swearing does indeed mediate strength. It helps improve strength. It helps actually deal with discomfort. It actually drastically shows that you can increase strength by saying fuck or shit or what the fuck is going on while you're actually lifting. One interesting aside is that the humor actually brought down or mediated that strength influence that was gained from swearing. So you're saying the F word multiple times in your head or even announcing that to the world, which is why some people might not want you to do this hack. And at the same time, someone is saying something humorous. So when this occurs, the humorous impact actually has a negative response towards swearing, so the swearing is not effective and in turn you're weaker. The other interesting part is that the BART response didn't have any impact on strength at all. So people who are more likely to take a risk or people who are less likely to take a risk essentially had the exact same results. There was no 
okay, if you're a high risk taker, you're gonna be stronger when you're swearing. There was nothing that really occurred as far as that is concerned. So this led to this specific finding. Experiment two found that repeating a swear word increased flow, positive emotion, humor, distraction, and self-confidence. So think about that. Okay, if you're a little bit distracted from that strength issue or from that long time under tension, if you swear a little bit, that's gonna help a little bit as far as distraction is concerned and you could probably handle that stress a little bit better. And another one here, consistent effects of swearing on physical strength indicate that this is indeed a reliable effect. Swearing influenced several constructs related to state disinhibition, including increased self-confidence. Now, I've got two takeaways here. Okay, so we can break this down and on, on the surface we can see if we're swearing, we're gonna have a positive response. This is not just the first research paper that has said this, there's a couple other papers that have looked into this, they still need to do further research. But one big factor here, okay, is that one, we shouldn't be swearing all of the time. We also should not be swearing likely in a massive public gym. That might be a little awkward. Okay, so what does this mean? They have to do a little bit more research on swearing. This does show us that we can indeed swear. We can do that internally. We can express this to people around us. One big factor I would recommend is know your area. Okay, if you're surrounded by little children or elderly individuals, you should probably have a little bit more self-respect and keep that inside of your brain. You can still swear internally and actually reap those rewards, at least I would believe so. Now, another big factor, and I've actually, I'm here in Paris at a prep camp for the World Championships here in 2023 for Olympic weightlifting, and I wanted to point something out. In one of our training sessions, a couple individuals were cracking a joke while another individual was about to take a back squat. While he was taking this back squat, he started to laugh. And this was at a weight that was like 80% of his best. He went down and just dumps the bar. And the reason why he dumped the bar was because he was laughing. That humor totally pulls you out of the focus that you have. So swearing can almost look like that dial to turn everything up, whereas humor looks like something that's gonna dampen that strength response. So we've gotta keep that in mind, and that also has to help us as far as what we're gonna be doing being more focused in training, taking things more seriously. But also, if you need more confidence, right? You're in a situation where you don't have confidence. Based off of this research paper, if you let out a couple F-bombs and you chalk up those hands and you wanna take a big stab at a big weight that you're sort of doubtful about, by all means, drop those F-bombs, let it loose, and you're gonna have an increase in self-confidence and ultimately, an increase in your overall capability. So if you guys need help with your overall training, you need a program that you can use while you're dropping those F-bombs, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, and you can download Peak Strength today for seven free days of training. That's gonna be five free workouts. That's gonna help you achieve that freak strength. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace. <laughs>